Uh, I'm Greg Hootie Smith, Vice President of the Mingo County Commission, and uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to thank you, and I would like to thank your committee uh, for coming to Mingo County. On behalf of my fellow commissioners, we want to welcome you, uh, and hope you en enjoy your time here, and that everyone is pleasant to you. With that being said, I've, I've had a little bit of experience in that sixth senatorial district, and uh, it is a long haul, as uh, Senator Miller. Miller has said, when you start going from Bluefield in Mercer County all the way down to uh, Canova in uh, Wayne County, uh, going in between Wyoming, McDowell, and all Mingo, it's a, it's a long haul. So I do not, I, I don't have, I tell you, you guys got a tough job ahead of you, very tough job. And, and I'm sure that you all will look at it fairly and, and make a decision that's in the best interest of the state of West Virginia. Speaking of the, from the South, one of the things that I would recommend out of my experience with the 6th Senatorial District is I would not encourage to increase the 6th Senatorial District into Mercer County farther. Uh, I find that the, that the, the elements in each area, the other counties are more similarly situated, I believe, uh, in McDowell, Mingo, Wyoming, and the southern part of, of Wayne County. <coughs> Mercer County has uh, is more commercial when you get in towards Princeton and, and Bluefield and there on the Virginia border. Uh, so I, I don't believe that they're similarly situated than the southern coal fields. Uh, different interests at heart in those areas. One of the things that I would encourage would be more inclusion into the Wayne County, uh, Wayne County, because Wayne County is more similarly situated than the Mingo and McDowell, which you all have in the sixth senatorial district. I'll tell you a funny story. The first time I ran, and one of the things that whatever you do, please make good boundary lines and make those readily available for uh, candidates that are going to jump into one of these races, that they can tell what the playing field is. Uh, when I first ran for the Senate, I called up to the Secretary of State, where, where do you go? Where do you go? You know, they just got that nice broad map that doesn't really show you where the lines run. And then I go down, they said, well, go see your county clerk. County clerk can't really tell you anything other than this is the polling place. I would have won that first time when I was campaigning up 151, but Genoa wasn't even in the 6th Senatorial District. <laughs> Sorry, Senator uh, Stallings, I was trying to get some of your constituents right there. <laughs> but, I think it must have worked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that would be uh, my encouragement to you, is that I believe that uh, uh, Wayne County, Mingo, McDowell, and Wyoming are more, uh, share some of the same interests. Uh, and have some of the uh, uh, same needs, whereas if you stretch it farther into the Mercer County area, uh, I think there will be differentiating interest. Uh, so that would be my recommendation, and I appreciate your time and your consideration, and uh, anything we can do for you while you're here, just uh, feel free to ask. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate your efforts to come out and reach the public. Uh, my interest would be when you get an idea of what you're going to do, when can we see it, and where would it be, and how would we get an opportunity to look at the new line. So. Yes, uh, the time schedule is that we have, uh, we're looking at a special session early to mid-August, called by the governor, but that's going to be called by the governor. So we have town meetings, we have these meetings all through until July, and then our task force will convene, start taking all this information from the public, and then start working on maps. I'm interested in how accurate the census really is in our area. I don't know. I mean, I, I, mean, I know there there's been discussions so many, on that. There's so many that said to me, even in our area that lives in outlying areas, say, well, I didn't get a form and I didn't fill it out, so I, I wasn't counting. You know what I mean? So that, that's one thing that always kind of rattles in my mind, how accurate is it in our area here because we have so many outlining areas. Yeah. Aaron, did you want to make any comments on that or you know? 
this isn't the only place where they've had that question. The city of Detroit's questioned that as well. I mean, I know this, the Census Bureau is required by law to go out and knock on the door.